we put some measures in place to take care of our people, to protect our people, protect our life. Very, very important. And I want to give out this number that I always give out to you, dear friends. It is very, very important that you have this number. If you have information that you or your villages can do nothing about it, please make use of these numbers. And send whatever information you have, tag it appropriately so that it will be easy for them to identify what and where so that they will be able to arrest that situation. And that those the numbers are plus six one four three four two nine four seven four five. The second number is plus four one seven seven zero nine. Six nine six eight one. This numbers that I just called is only on signal. Please and please and please make use of this number to send whatever information you have. Make use of this numbers as well to inquire whatever you want to inquire. Of course, you know the number is inquiry lines. But you can use it for do for both of the things that I just made mention. Use it to send your information across. Use it for your inquiry. Use it to use it to ask whatever question you need to ask. By so doing, I tell you, you are doing something great. You are doing things that will protect the life of your friends. As you know, all they want to do is to come in, kill, pillage, and to destroy our people. But if you do something to protect our people, Almighty Himself, Chukuki Kabiyama will continue to bless you. Once again, I want to say a very, very wonderful new month, and I welcome each and every one of us to this wonderful program this very morning. Like I said, it's been a while since I come on air on a weekly basis. It's only on Shabbat. It's because of something, like I've said before, it is because of something that I have been, um, something that has been troubling me. And at this point, I'm going to say all oh, thanks to Chukuki Kabiyama that lives in heaven. That is all I can say. But I want to say, welcome once again to this wonderful program. And it is Breakfast Show. And this morning, we will go straight into it. I saw some questions, but I didn't answer it. But I'm going to go straight to the newspaper, newspaper that is coming out from the zoo. I think all of the what I'm going to read out from this newspaper will answer the questions that I am seeing. I see some question that says, but I don't want to go straight into it. To those of you that ask a question, I hope you are listening. I go to this newspaper to read out this headline. As soon as I read out what is in this newspaper, you will get your answer. All right, let us go to this newspaper. This newspaper I am reading from Vanguard newspaper. I'm reading from Vanguard newspaper and the title of this and the the, the title of this one is it will be sit at home bankroll by Nigerian government. Namdi Kanu alleges. This is from Vanguard newspaper. Dear friends, do not I want before I go ahead, before I go ahead. You know, our people are in a habit of whatever news that broke, they will start to chase that one, forget about what is on ground already this is the habit the should i say this is the habit that our people have formed which is not a good thing and that is the reason why nigerian government find it very very easy to distract us they find it very very easy to distract us they put up something new you forget about what is already on ground and you start to pursue that. Another new one come, you start to pursue it. But I will tell you that those that know what the truth is, 
they will continue to believe what that truth is leading them to. As you've as you've heard, this this their nonsense sit at home is being bankrolled by Nigerian government. Have they denied it? Absolutely not. Have they said anything about it? Absolutely not. But some people will not ask themselves a question. Let us go into this and read out exactly what is written here in Fangad. It says, the leader of the indigenous people of the IPU, Nam Dikanu, on Monday alleges, before I go any further, I want you to know that this news was published just yesterday, the 31st of July, 2023. It was published yesterday, the 31st of July, 2023, and, and I'm reading it today, the first day of August, 2023, being Tuesday. And I will go back and read it. He says, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPO Binam Dikanu, on Monday, alleges that Ekwerima sits at home or that was bankrolled by the Nigerian government. Does this sound familiar to you? In any way, shape, or form? Does this sound familiar? Remember, remember not so long ago, Ohane Zindibo, they said the same thing. And the question that I'm asking is, did Nigerian government deny this? Did they deny it? Did anybody bother to ask that question? Absolutely not. Ohane Zindibo said, this, their nonsense sit at home is being bankrolled by Nigerian government. Not long ago, they said it. Oh, and in the evil. I never ever thought that they will be able or they will summon such a courage to say that. As you can see, they said it, nothing happened. They said it, you know, hell do not break loose. They said it, nothing happened. It's just because it is nothing but the truth. We'll continue. Kano disclosed this in a statement he made available to newsmen in a way through IPOB led council, Ifani Ejofo. When they visited him, Kanu at the detention facility on the State Security Service SSS in Abuja. Kanu describe a query sit at home. Um, let me just put it straight or let me make it clear here. Ekperima is not what is written here, but I thought Ekperima is the right name because there is no there is no need for me. You know to bring him or to you know to say his name here because all he does is just to suffocate our people with all this is nonsense that he is doing and nigerian government is pushing him to continue to be doing but i'll continue in the reading he says yeah can you describe equally must at home as useless and that that it was destroying the economy of the south east according to the ipob lawyer we visited an indefatigable and formidable client only in dumazin namdi kanu today being the 31st day of july 2023 at the sss headquarter headquarters abuja where he is still being illegally and constitutionally held in solitary solitary confinement today's visit was to brief onyendu on 
patent development with respect to his specific writing order calling of the senseless seat at home. Senseless seat at home being enforced by enemies of our people. Onyendu used the opportunity to provide to all right. Onyendu used the opportunity provided by the visit to remain our to remind our people and all Ezibo Muchineke to note that whoever still go about to observe any unauthorized seat at home direct you know that he or she is working for the Nigerian government to destroy our once peaceful land. Onyendu was very emphasized that Ekperima is Ekperima is bankroll by the Nigerian government for the purpose of causing unrest in our region. Onyendu directed our people to check record of freedom fighters across the world and tell and tell or identify anybody if any if any whose style of liberating his or her people is to impose economic hardship and Unmanaged, unimaginable terror on the same people. Onyendu observe, Onyendu observed that the evil activities of those murderous, murderers, which have no connection with freedom fighting, also extend, extend to the preparation of all forms of violence crime in our region which include but are not limited to kidnapping and killing other fair other far reaching directives onyendu handed down today on how to nip the activities of ekberima and his criminal cohort in the board shall remain private as i as i have as i had already informed muchineke onyendu was last week grant access to a medical examination by the specialists by a specialty specialist cardiologist of his own choice a process i duly witness we shall also keep you informed once the second phases of the medical examination is conducted which will happen soon other instruction on other instruction other instruction on compelling matters of serious urgency will be communicated to Umuchineke through the appropriate channel as always and do thank you all Ezebu Umuchineke for standing shoulder to shoulder with him particularly in the time like this even as he implore you all to continue to abide by your peaceful conduct as you have resolutely demonstrated age of four said this is exactly how it is written here on vanguard and this is exactly where it stands the reason why i read it out is for you to know it's been said here multiple times what you see is nigerian government doing what you see is Nigerian government 
fighting against you indirectly. Proxy, that is what it's called. They use somebody among you to destabilize you. Some people forgot that what we are pursuing is freedom. Some people forget that this is not a child's play. Some people forget that Nigerian government, they don't care if you and I, we are alive or not. But what matters to them is to destroy IPOB any way they can. However, if killing us all is what will put an end to this quest for Biafra, they will do it happily. And they have been doing it. But they forget that. It doesn't matter how many they kill, it will not stop this quest. These are the things that you are supposed to know. What you see going on today is Nigeria making. What you see today happening in, in Biafra land, they caused it. They did it to themselves and it didn't go well. And they see that your land is peaceful. They said, okay, we will replicate the same. But this time, we will do it differently because you don't have Boko Haram. You are not like them, but they have a way to do it. This is exactly what they are doing. Instead of you to identify it, instead of you to identify it and put a stop to it, you are busy fanning that little light that has nothing in it. You are busy fanning it. Now it is expanding. I want you to understand, like I said before, every single thing you have, every single thing you as a person do, have a consequence. It doesn't matter how you want to think about it. Every single thing you do, it has a consequence for good or for bad. It all left for you. To ask yourself a question. You want to continue to allow yourself to be used by Nigerian government to suffocate your own people. You want to continue to allow Nigerian government to use you to deceive your people. You want to make yourself a willing tool. Against your own people. All of this is on your table. Just what you need to do is just ask yourself a question. Ask yourself a question. What I'm doing. Is it going to benefit me? Good and my people. Or it is going to work against my people. Just ask yourself that question ask yourself that question i'm asking this question this question is not just that i'm asking it to a specific person this question is for each and every one of as long as you are a beer fan you need to ask yourself a question as long as you are a beer fan you need to ask yourself this very question to some who say it's not for me to some who say i am a senator to some may say i am in diaspora it is for you because when you deny that it is not for you those that it is meant for when they finish with them they will come after you it doesn't matter how you hide yourself it doesn't matter how you denied yourself to be one of the indigenous people of Biafra. as soon as they finish 
with those that you think that they are the one, they will come for you. Ask yourself the question. All of this quietness, what is it for? Is it going to benefit me for a long run? All of this greediness, what? All of these politics of grabbing points, what is it for? Ask yourself a question. Another thing that I want to go to or that I want us to look into is this clip that I want to play. I want to play this clip so that we all will listen to it. Let us listen to this clip. Then I myself will point out things that I think is not the right thing to say or the right thing to say, whichever way it is. But let us play this clip. But I know some of us might have listened to this clip so many, multiple times. But let us listen to this clip one more time this very morning. Now, let's get something. Thank uh, you. Right. Let's get something uh, really straight here. Uh, we need some clarity uh, for the purpose of the view. Okay, uh, those enforcing the sit at home order till now, who are they loyal to? Who are they answerable to? Are they answerable to uh, Unam de Kanu or answerable to uh, Equa? Well, um, I'll speak uh, on what I know as of counsel. Uh, that might be limited knowledge. That might be all you need to know and our viewers tonight. Mazin Namdekarno is the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. There are no two supreme leaders. And at this moment, there is no deputy leader. They have other leaders lower down the hierarchy of supreme leader and deputy leader. So standing on that, anybody that acts in the name of IPOB, whether the person acted for good or bad or for the ugly, is often attributed uh, to the head of the organization and the fish rust from the head. So Mam De Cano is very concerned about this. He never meant for things to go this awry, to go out of control. So your question is quite relevant. So we, he is trying to separate the apples from the oranges here. So that not when somebody goes out there and say, I'm a disciple of Mazin Namdekano, and he levies violence on the general public in the name of sit at home, Namdekano gets to take the bad name simply because he's the head of the organization. It's not fair on him. So having considered all this, he needed to provide the clarity you talked about to separate the apples from the oranges. And the best way he thought he could do that is to end it once and for all, to start from the very beginning and end the process that is causing the issues. And that process or that event or act that is causing all these issues is at home. I met with him on 24th, and he spoke to me along these lines that He's now left with no option that to take this drastic step. The question Thank is, you. yes, indeed. The, the, the question is how uh, drastic really is this letter to uh, Simon? Uh, uh, is there any chance at all that uh, Namde Kano may have been put under some kind of pressure, you know, to write this letter, in a, you know, just to secure uh, his own freedom? And from all indication, it looks like Simon Ekpa is a genie out of the bottle. What are the guarantees that this letter will actually 
reign Simon Epain and his followers? Well, Nandekan was renditioned over two years ago. So if he would have succumbed to any kind of a pressure from any quarters from the government or whatnot, this should have happened over two years ago. Why now? He's not the kind of a man that succumbs to pressure. If he does, perhaps he should have dropped the allegation by an, uh, the agitation by now, constrained the travails and the, and the predicament that he has undergone. So there was no pressure of any sort. I was sitting with him. Unless you are suggesting that I pressured him, which I didn't. The topic of our discussion when I met with him on 24th July wasn't this. So it sprang on me as a surprise. I went in there to brief him on legalities, on the status of certain cases that we have around Eastern Nigeria and in, and in the federal capital. So he sprung this at me. So he must have ruminated over it, thought about it before I came in into the room to meet with him. So that's number one. Number two is you asked about whether Simon Ekpa will comply. Well, if you read my press release, this announcement should have been made on Simon Ekpa's platforms, media platforms. That was the order. That if you don't make it on your platform, I have authorized Barisa Lodge, Michael, to do it as a public announcement. So the order is directed to Simon Ekpa for the limited purpose of announcing on his platform. But the announcement I have made is addressed to the whole world. It's addressed to the whole world in general and particularly to people of Southeast and South South of Nigeria and followers of IPOB that are legion. So the question should have been, whether these full hours, full hours of IPOB will comply and obey the instruction or order or directions of their extreme leader. So we shall see that as the days unfold from tomorrow. Okay, Thank we're you. coming there. If, we're if they don't, there. What, yeah. uh, what happens then? I mean, if uh, Simon Okpa's followers uh, don't do the bidding of Namde Kano, at least based on what he said in the letter, giving that directive, what happens then? Well, the question you put now, Colin, referring to Simon Ekba's followers, suggests that Simon Ekba has different followers from Mazin Nandekano. No, that's a fallacy. Simon Ekba's followers are Nandekano's followers. So anybody following uh, Mazi Simon Ekba is following him because he believes that Ekba is following Mazin Namdekano. Ekba calls himself as a disciple of Mazin Namdekano, and the memo containing the order in that very memo, Mazin Namdekano also used the word disciple. So there is no different followers of Mazi Simon Ekba, different from those following Mazin Namdekano. So that leaves us. Uh, at where I was in, the, my, in my previous statement, that this order is directed not to Simon Eck, but he had a limited role to publish it. He didn't do it. So the responsibility fell on me as of counsel to do so. But the order is beyond him and directed to the general public generally, and of course, specifically to members of IPOB that are in the millions. So their leader has spoken, and uh, it's left for them to fo follow his orders, directions, and instructions without looking to left or right. That is what I think should happen. Thank okay. you. So uh, in other words, uh, there is this alliance between uh, Simon Epa and Unam the Kano. What if, what if after this letter, uh, Simon Ekwa now sees it as an opportunity, sees the situation as an opportunity to uh, exert himself and take over the leadership? I, I cannot go into his mind. Uh, the, 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 the question 
is making extreme uh, postulations, uh, which I don't think should form the subject matter of the discussion. I think we are going beyond the brief. I can't go into his mind and try to analyze what he's thinking. It has never come into my reckoning. So I just don't know what to say to that question. No, I expect him to uh, act in good faith. Uh, you know, that, oh, no, let, let, me, let me just say one of you things. Uh, of course, I expect him to act in good faith. He describes himself as a disciple of Mazin Nandekano, and that has endeared him to uh, many, or most of, or not, if not all, most of the uh, followers of Mazin Nandekano. There is no demarcation. When he says that he's a disciple of Mazin Nandekano, it is to be expected that he should also fall in line when Mazin Nandekano instructs him to do uh, one or two things, such as this one right now. Is he so I don't aware, expect him is, to act differently. Yes. Uh, that he felt. Isn't Namdekano uh, Nam been briefed? Has he been briefed about the Senate's rejection of you know, the motion to release uh, him uh, from detention? And is there a sense that Southeast governors are doing enough uh, to. You know, get all right, all right. Let me just hold it there. Hold it there. All right. As you can hear. No, not every single thing that he say that I have problem with as a person. But I want to start by saying, all due respect, with all due respect, Mr. Aloy Ejimako, with all due respect, you are supposed to be a special counsel of Mazin Namdikano. You are supposed to represent our leader in the finest. You're supposed to represent IPUB. But you're not doing that. You know, with this interview that you granted, I see deception in, in it. I see deception in the highest order. You were asked, the people enforcing it at home, Who are they lawyer to? And you start beating about the bush. With all due respect, Mr. Aloy Jimako, you are a knowledgeable man. You are supposed to do better than this. But look at what you did. A special counsel of our leader. All of, all of a sudden, you don't know what is going on anymore. You don't know what to say concerning those that are causing sit at home. You know exactly what they're doing. Or oh, Hanei, they even do better than this. The first question they ask you, you are talking about fish rotting from the head. And our leader is... Troubled, is it what you said? Now, my question is, what is this head of fish that rotting from the head? It is your word because you, you are the one that go out in the live television and, you know, you are the one that did this to yourself. That is the question I'm asking. You are asked a question, simple question that you are supposed to answer with one or two, three words and that's it. You go about beating the bush. All due respect, you are more knowledgeable than I am. You are supposed to do better than this. And you go there and allow the whole world to see what is in your heart. Before this interview that you grant, it was in the newspaper in the zoo that Ohanese came out. And I read it out. I said, I've said it already this morning. Ohanese said that this sit at home is being enforced by Nigerian government. And I also read out yesterday that our leader said the sit at home is being bankrolled by Nigerian government. My question is, how knowledgeable that you are. 
how come you are not aware of it? How come you, you, you have the opportunity to put it out there? Why can't you do just that? Mr. Lloyd Jimako, you're just beating around the bush. I don't like this. This is just you playing the politics with what you're supposed to be doing. That is not, that is not, that is, that is just for the truth. Nothing but the truth. You talk about head. Head. You are just like, you are just, you know, you are just, you know, drawing the line, you know, let us fight. That is exactly what you're saying. That is exactly what you just said there. The fish is rotting from the head. You know, how I wish I was there, I will, I will ask you to, you know, to, con co to complete this picture that you paint, fish rotting from the head. And it is not fair on our leader. Who is this fish? Is this fish a person that you are pointing to? Who is this fish that you're pointing to? You're supposed to be a cancer. You're supposed to say things that when you say them, it will stamp, it will stamp on the public. It will be a word that everybody is speaking. But you go out there and you did this to yourself. If I may say this morning, my question to you, Mr. Jimako, is question, direct question from me, Mazu Chenna Obilo. Please, and please, and please, tell be your friends. Who is this fish that you are directing to? The second question is, are you not aware that our Hanesis came out and say, the sit at home is being peddled by Nigerian government? Are you not aware? Are you not aware that Simon Benima is not an official member of the indigenous people of Biafra? Are you not aware of that? I sure know that you are aware. At least I just ask you just three questions. I hope you will tell Biafrans why. I'm not the kind of person that come out and insult people. But when you start to misbehave seriously, you have a problem with me. You are supposed to be a special counsel. You are supposed to tell people exactly how it is happening. Not because of what grudges that you have. Not because of personal issue that you have. Not because you like what they do or you don't like what they do. You are supposed to come out and tell the truth at all times. You have opportunity to be in the live television and you will ask a simple question. The people that are carrying, that are, that are enforcing this seat at home, who are they loyal to? Mr. Aloy Jimako, you're just beating around the bush. Let us break it down. These people enforcing sit at home, who are they? You have them in the name of unknown government, unknown government. You also have the other parts as auto, auto criminals connected to government in Ezai. All of these names that I mentioned, are they the names and people that our leader set up? I'm just saying it that you will understand, Mr. 
Aloy Jimako. These people, are they the people that our leader set up? Have you not seen the footage of these same criminals that call themselves unknown government killing our own people in the market square, shooting people? Have you not seen that video? Is that what our leader set up? You have opportunity on a live television to make everything, to, to put everything straight. And you went there and fumble. The people that are killing people in Biafra land are they the members of indigenous people of Biafra? I ask you a question. Mr. Lloyd Jimako, you are so knowledgeable that you know most of the things that our leader said. Our leader once said that if we start to kill our own people, then this Biafra is not going to come. And this word is being implanted in every IPUB members. And these same people that are enforcing it at home, they are killing our own people. Have you not seen that footage, I ask you? Have you not seen that footage? As a special counsel, you will tell me that those people killing people, they are the followers of the same man that you are representing. Is that what you're telling me? Ejimako para malikwe. Le baanya anyo ofuma. That is to say, in other words, that is to say, you are accepting it when Nigerian government tag us or tag the indigenous people of Biafra a terrorist. Is that what it is? Are you accepting it? I expect you to answer this question with a very short word. But rather, you allow what is in your mind, the grudges in your mind, to, to, to get a better part of you. And you start to fumble. You start to say a lot of things. You forget the right word that you are supposed to use. To nail it right there. And I also forget to let you know that even that radio where, uh, should I say radio, that television station where you are belongs to the Nigerian government. You're supposed to know that. You're supposed to know that. You go there. You fumble. I want to say, this is not how to represent your client. If you ask a, if a, a, just a simple question will be thrown to you, you cannot answer it. That is to say, I tell you, this is not, this is not just how to represent your client. This is not how to represent a client. Whereby a simple question will be thrown to you. A simple question will be thrown to you. And you cannot answer it properly. You're telling them. How the fish has rotten from, from the head. As a matter of fact. To those that do not know what I'm saying. I'm going to play this clip one more time. So that you will hear exactly what he said. Let it not be that I am the one. Making it up. Now let's get something. Thank uh, you. Right. Let's get something uh, really straight here. Uh, we need some clarity uh, for the purpose of the view. Okay. Uh, those enforcing the sit at home order, who are they answerable to? Are they answerable to uh, Unam the Kanu or answerable to? 
uh, equa? This is the question. Those that are enforcing sit at home, who are they answerable to? Before he asks the question, he says, for clarity, for clarity, the people enforcing sit at home, who are they answerable to? That is to say, who are they loyal to? You must understand the reason why they are asking this question. The reason why they are asking this question is for them to be able to tag whatever they want to tag to whatever you say. Let us continue to play this clip. Well, um, I'll speak uh, on what I know as of counsel. Uh, that might be limited. Right. Mazin Mamlekano is the supreme leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. There are no two supreme leaders. And at this moment, there is no deputy leader. They have other leaders lower down the hierarchy of supreme leader and deputy leader. So standing on that, anybody that acts in the name of IPOB, whether the person acted for good or bad or for the ugly, is often attributed uh, to the head of the organization. You see, this is exactly what I'm saying. Anybody that acted in the name of IPOB often attributed, and you are supposed to be a special counsel. You know what the truth is. This is my problem. This man knows exactly what the truth is. Nigerian government is impersonating IPOB. This man knows. This man knows that what I'm saying is truth. But look at what he is saying in the live television. Often attributed. He is the one saying it. No one put this word in his mouth. He is the one saying all of this. Thing, but let me play it so that you And the fish rust from the head. So, Mam De Carno is very concerned about this. He never meant for things to go this awry, to go out of control. So your question is quite relevant. So we, he is trying to separate the apples from the oranges here. So that not when somebody goes out there and say, I'm a disciple of Mazin Namdekano, and he levies violence on the general public in the name of sit at home, Namdekano gets to take the bad name simply because he's the head of the organization. It's not fair on him. So having considered all this, he needed to provide the clarity. You, you know, this is exactly what I'm saying. You know, when you fumble and you find a way to, to amend all the mistakes that you've made, you see, it's not working. It's not working. Mr. Aloy Jimakov said it before. You are a learned man and you're supposed to be better than this. I tell you, this is way, way off of it. You're supposed to represent your client in the finest way possible. That is exactly what you are supposed to be doing, but you are not doing that. You are not doing that. Mazin Namdekano never set up IPOB. You must know that the Nigerian government itself is impersonating IPOB. By using unknown government, killing his own people. Nigerian government is fighting to destroy IPOB from within. All of these things you know. But because of what you have in mind, because of the grudges, you allow it to take a better part of you. This is not the way to do things. Represent your clients in the finest way. If you do good, I tell you, I will be the one to cheer you up. The first one, if, if that is the case, to cheer you up. But when you do the wrong one, I will also tell you that what you did 
is wrong. We must understand that Biafra that we are pursuing is far beyond whatever grudges that you have. Biafra that we are fighting for is far bigger than hatred, whatever the name may be. Biafra that we are pursuing, like our leader said, is the kingdom of Chukwuki Kabiyama here on earth. Biafra that we are pursuing is the freedom of every born Biafran citizen. With that, you think Nigerian government will just allow you to get it in the platter of gold? They will do everything in their power to make sure they fight against us. And that is exactly what they're doing. And to some of you that will allow yourself to be used by them, I will say this morning, shame on you. I want to say this to IPOB all around the world. To those of you that are IPOB members, that has go ahead to join our enemies in what they are doing to help them to destroy what we are doing. I want to ask you a question. And that question is, do you remember that you are indigenous person of Biafra? Do you remember that collectively we all are indigenous people of Biafra? Do you remember that we all took an oath to uphold this struggle? Do you all remember that we took an oath not to go against anything that would destroy what our leader have built. Have you forgotten that? Have you in any way forgotten that? If you have forgotten, let me remind you. Everybody that call himself an IPUB member, you took this oath. And I want to remind you that that is not something that you need to joke with. If you have deviated, this is the time for you to make amend and come back. Because you are, or should I say, because you took an oath to uphold, not to do anything that will destroy this quest that you will also be loyal to our leader Mazin Namdekanu not going to other places to fight against those that are fighting against Biafra to some we say I don't want to be with you yeah you can Go to wherever you want to go to, but fight for Biafra. But I am just saying what I know. You are a member of IPOB member. You took an oath. But to some of us, because of a stupidity, we've forgotten that this is what it is. We forgot that we took this oath. To uphold, to guide, to be loyal, to make sure we push this quest to its logical conclusion. Remember all of these things. It doesn't matter who you are, 
Every principal servant of IPOB undergo this oath. Every family member of IPOB members, they undergo this oath. You know exactly what kind of oath you took. You know what is written. As you are listening to me right now, I just want you to think about what you said. How you, take, how you took this oath. Just go through it again in your mind because I know you. some of you took it more than once. Just go through it again and remember what is written in it. Because I tell you, it is not a child's play. Like I will always say to us, anything that has to do with blood, it is not something that you will joke with or toy with. The freedom that we are pursuing, a lot of blood is in, involved. The blood of our people have gone for this. They have killed millions and millions of beer friends. And they are still doing so up until today. And you took an oath to uphold, to continue to fight, to be lawyer, to guide. And all of, a, all of a sudden, you forgot the oath that you took. And you're making merriment with your enemies. Those that made themselves available to destroy what you're doing. You find it necessary to join them in what they're doing. You find it necessarily to, dis to disrupt and to disorganize what we are doing. You find it necessarily to be the one to distract our people. Have everything. And I will also say this very morning. To them that you are following. To them that you are following. Ask them a question. Did you take that oath that IPUB members took? Did you take the oath to uphold? To guide? Did you, to, did you take that oath? Ask them that question. They don't took the, they don't take these oaths. They do not take these oaths. But they are misleading you. They are misleading you. And you are following them, forgetting that you are on oath. Forgetting that you are an oath to protect this family. I don't know how to put it out there to you this morning, but I know exactly what I know and exactly how I want to say it this morning. I have bring it to you. Have a rethink. Sit down and ask yourself a question. This same oath I took, do they take this oath as well? My mom used to tell me something as a young boy. Whenever she said that to me, I would be laughing at her. Those days in the village, you know, today you know it to be set fence. But those days it is not fence, it is called Mbala in our local adage. I don't know what it is in your own language, but to those of them that are understanding what I'm saying will know exactly what I'm saying. My mom will say to me, Onye chiojo wombala, This is the word she will say to me. 
And whenever she said that, I would be laughing at her. Sometimes I would say she don't know what she's saying. You know, I would be laughing at her. But as, as time goes on, I understand what she was saying. And that is exactly what I'm saying towards this very morning. Onye chojo wombala. Ntiya bafara. To those of you that took an oath to uphold, to protect, you allow, you allow, you allow those Nigerian government is using, those that have made themselves available to distract you, to use you, to distract others as well. Have everything. Have everything. I don't know how else to put it to us this morning, but I will say, have everything. Only what you need to do is ask them this question. The same oath that I took, did you take the same oath? You know exactly what is in that oath that you took. It is for you to be lawyer. It is for you to guide. It is for you to uphold the struggle. But you have abandoned all of those things and you are doing something else. Ask yourself a question. Ask yourself a question. This is exactly where I will put an end to this part of the program this very morning. I want to go for a short break and I will be back. Please do not go away because I will be back before you know it. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help, even in this time of danger with trouble, even in this time of full and rage and terrorism. Therefore, we shall fear no evil. This IPOB shall fear no evil. Even if the whole world is against us, we are all be our friends and we are born be our friends. On that day, when the rest is flat, my brother, will you be dead? When this battle shall be over, we are going to raise this flag. On that day, when the rest is flat, my sister, will you be dead? When this battle shall be over, we are going to raise the flag. On that day, we raise the flag. My brother, will you be there? We are all there the from this, and we are all there from this. We raise the flag, my sister. Will you be there? I was a nation. Biafra was a nation. In the very beginning, there was a nation. We are all Biafrans. We are all Biafrans. We are born Biafrans. We are die Biafrans. Oh, oh, oh. We are all Biafrans. We have a leader. We have a leader. We have a leader. Who is this? We have a leader. We have a leader. Who is this? Yeah. Right, this sun is gonna come back again. We're gonna tell it to the west, we're gonna tell it.
But his own people are blind and saying it's causing division Tell me why, why, why someone who sacrificed his life for you and I Tell me why, why, why out of sight has become out of our mind He's asking for nothing and cares about not for his people emancipation I, no, 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 no But there is a breaking news to those who never knew But meet me to give you a clue In the morning sun Concert bell, concert bell, concert bell Dear friends and lovers of freedom around the world There will be an all-stars concert tour of Biafra artists Coming up soon in Tokyo, Japan This concert is aimed at spreading the gospel of Biafra To every nooks and crannies of the earth we are bringing the gospel to the streets of Asia and Tokyo, Japan will be its starting point. We are using this opportunity to appeal to Umu Chineke around the world to lend our music stars a financial helping hands to make this concert tour realizable. To make any donation, please contact veteran Ike Peter on plus one eight four five three four four seven nine eight four or plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three. You can also contact Mazi Okechuku Foreign on plus three nine three five one one three seven four four seven eight or plus four eight five seven nine three three two. Four three nine. Right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Please, as you've heard, please support, support, support our music, our artists. Uh, support our artists for this tour that they are going, please. It doesn't matter how much you support them with it will go a long way please be a friend support them for this let them go out there and preach this gospel of chukwo kikabi am exactly how we know it because i tell you what they are doing is huge the musics that they are producing as you can see as you can see we have enough music to entertain you on radio biafra all oh, thanks to them please support them in this good work that they are doing if you uh, if we will say it this way you know most of the things that they most of this music that they are producing they are not getting any money for it but they are doing it you know in order to support what we are doing so if i say support them in any way shape or form it's not a bad thing please support them however way you can whichever way it doesn't matter how little support them and when you do that, 
almighty Chuku Kikabiyama in heaven, we do for you the same way you do for them. All right. I'm going to open up our line this morning for you to call in and come in. Let us have let us have a discussion. Let us communicate to our people. Let us have one-on-one -on -one talk to those of you that will want to call in as soon as you call in. You know, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while that I have you, be a friends on the show. As soon as you call in, as soon as you call in, I will bring you to be a friends. I will give out our numbers, the numbers to call. First of all, you can get us on Skype. I must say I have... I have more than one hour today to be with you for to take your calls to those of you that will want to call in. As soon as you call in, I will bring you to be a friend. We are on Skype. If you want to use Skype to call us, we are on Skype. Our Skype ID is Biafra Rising. Biafra Rising Radio Biafra. And you can also call us on our online on on WhatsApp on on the right line, the lines are plus 972 533 You can also call the other line, which is plus 972-54301-9647. As soon as you call in, as soon as you call in, I am going to bring you to be a friend. Please don't go away. Let me go for a short break and I'll be back. Please, I'll be back. As soon as you call in, I will bring you to be a friend. All right, all right, welcome back. I have beer friends calling. Let me go to the line and see who I have on the line. Call on the line. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Manzi. Welcome Good to morning the program. from here, Manzi. They were. Yes. Welcome back to Big Faction, Manzi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, I listened to the clip you played um, concerning the interview uh, Aloy Jimako had with the Is It Not Arise TV or whatever, if I'm not mistaken. That is true. Um, uh, yes. Aloy Jimako, he knows quite all right. He knows. He knows that um, that's an equity madwaf had with the Is It Not Arise TV or whatever, if I'm not mistaken. That is true. Um, uh, yes. Allah Ejimako, he knows quite all right. He knows. He knows that um that an equity madwaf had with the is it not a rice TV or whatever, if I'm not mistaken. That is true. Um uh, yes. Allah okay. Ejimako, he knows quite all right. He knows. He knows that um that an equity madwaf mistaken. That is true. Um uh, yes. Allah Ejimako, he knows quite all right. He knows. He knows that um that's an equity madwaf. That there are his boys. What can what can insult? Who is the equity man? That's a dwarf a criminal in Finland. He cannot even fit the shoe of Ohamadike for Allah Ejimako to open his daughter's mouth and talk rubbish. I know in Jimako, he sat comfortably and sabotaged this uh, struggle and he sabotaged Mars and Our own saint, our own savior. We don't forgive. Forgiveness is not in our own dictionary. So I know in Jimako, for him to open his daughter's mouth 
eh, that to follow. Does it mean that you don't know what he's supposed to say? He's working with the enemies of this struggle. And when time comes, he will answer the question. Okay, woman, so you know yeah, well, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you very, very much. All right. That is exactly what it is. That is exactly what it is. Um, a special counsel of our leader in the name of Aloy Ejimako. He is supposed to know or he is supposed to say there right on air that this this guy or whatever his name is he is not loyal to our leader but he didn't say it you know he want to play the politics that come with it but whatever the case may be i'm telling it to you exactly how it is this is not how to represent your own clients i have call on the line let me see who i have call on the line can you hear me yeah, okay. yeah well, welcome to the program. Sir, Yes, God bless. I found both I believe the very I have been listening to your, your broadcast. They listen to your lecture, how you are looking everything bit by bit, analyzing all the whole story, all the whole incident. Concerning what this man, a whole alloy, somebody who's supposed to know the best, who's supposed to know better than all, every, all of us, came out on public interview and be saying all this all this all this at all work against our own leader you see my i've 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 noticed this thing from the inception that was the time our uh, our brother Mazin, our lion said uh, should desist from writing anything concerning he made this statement earlier on this I started watching this man. It was this man and Carlon Takano that wanted to bring unknown doctor to come and no surgery on our leader. As a, honestly, I am not honestly the way this has been. I'm not, we have to do so. These people are playing gamble with our leader. Maz, I hope you are hearing me. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. These people are playing gamble with our leader. We have to do something before these people destroy us. Somebody like this, a man, that is why he said he had to win. He won the case in, uh, in the Omaha court. He won this, he won that. He's just after the money. These people are not working for us. Please, this man should stop seeing our leader. He's the one causing all these problems. Him and Kano, Kano, they are the problem we are having in IPO. IPOB is divided today because of these people. All that has followed Simon Eber, Eber Rima. I don't want to mention that name in this platform. It's because of this alloy age, Michael, and the canon that canon. Now that they have deviated, they cannot destroy IPOB because IPOB is ordained, is divinely ordained by God from heaven. This is what our leader told us. I will believe in whatever thing he said. I will believe in the leadership that our leader set up. We know those that are fighting for Biafra. We know those that have genuine intentions to fight for our restoration of our nation, Biafra. I will know those the enemies are using, those the devil have entered their head and they are following blindly, following this dwarfish man in Finland who yeah, is causing mayhem, trying to drive our, our leader's reputation to international mob. And it will never all go well with him. God will never allow them to succeed. Yeah, Mazi, another thing I want to say now is consequently. Concerning our, uh, concerning our our first lady, Lord Lord, our leader's wife, the last time he, she came on the, the radio and she was saying a whole lot of things, oh, I felt I felt like killing, stabbing myself to death. How could a woman like that be going through all this trauma, all this torture? Yet, it's like she lacks more attention. I have to understand. To me, that's what this if she said. She was on Sunday bed and her, 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 her son is in school, nobody to preach it. That is, there is nobody assisting this woman in this critical, at, at this critical condition that she finds herself. Our leader is dying for all of us. 
our leader is paying every payable price to, 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 to restore Biafra. I, I, it's like we are not showing more concern in his family. I'm just saying this. I'm very sorry if I'm provoking anybody here. For what our leader's wife said, I am not happy. The day there was a, there was a, a protest in Finland, she said she was not feeling well. Does it mean that somebody who went through something can still come be on air and be talking to be friends on air? It's the detriment of her own head or what? I don't understand, please. We have to do something about this, our, our, our first lady. We don't have any other person. We don't have any other family that is with us in this struggle than this family. They have sacrificed so much. And we should concentrate more of our concern because as we suffered for, for the past two years now, we touch our husband with her. It's very, 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 very serious. That's what I want to say here, my brother. And I will continue to thank you. Thank all the media representatives, my brother, and you and all the co all, all, all your colleagues and those in the, 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 I'm thanking every one of you. All your work is being pronounced. Is we are seeing everything that you guys are doing for us. And Biafra will come. We will all see Biafra. And our enemies will be put to shame. Yeah, this well. is what I want to say, my, yeah, my well. brother. Yeah, Amen. Well. Yeah, well, all Thank right. you very much. I hear what you say. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. And I welcome all that you've said. But one thing that I will never, um, one thing that I will not say is, allow you, Jimako, the things, the good things you've done, you've done, I am not taking all of those things away. But if you going out there on, on live television and you ask a simple question, those enforcing sit at home, who are they loyal to? If you cannot say it boldly, with one or two world who they are loyal to then i have a problem with you it is just obvious that anybody you ask even a child in bfl land ask him those enforcing sick at home who are they loyal to they will tell you just for the fact that they are impersonating ipob using the name of our leader and you go there to just paint yourself whatever you paint yourself this is what it is let me go to the line and see who I have. I have on the line. Call on the line. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Welcome to the program. Hello. I can hear you. The whole world is listening. Please go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, well. My name is Shukui Manuel. I'm speaking from my location. Thank you once again. As always. I greet my leader, our leader, Mazen Amde Kano, who set up this platform to expose all the evil things that is going on in the whole world, especially in the hellfire on earth called Nigeria. Here, there is no truth. Everybody is turning to be criminal in Nigeria. Everybody. The government is doing everything to create criminality everywhere. The criminals who say they are government, when they go to the bush, they hit, they come out to the main road and ask them who is doing it. Why is the government doing it? A lawyer, Juma, come. Every day is for the thief. One day is for the owner of the property. Not only you, all of you who are saboteurs towards this process of Biafra, who are going in and out, collecting money. When you come out, you say Biafra. When you go in, you saw another thing. We know all of you. You are coming out one by one. A lawyer, Jimako, has come out. And he has shown himself. Nigeria has paid this animal. I don't care. This animal, anybody that comes from evil land, have not learned anything from now, all this while, is, is, if an animal is far better than the person. A lawyer, Jimako, you are running around every time you came on board 
as soon as our leader was renditioned from Kenya, that is where we start to hear your name, Aloye Jimako. If I need your four is our council from the beginning till now, and he has been doing well. Everybody knows this man. This man has suffered for this struggle, and he stands firm till today. Aloye Jimako came in as soon as our leader was renditioned from Kenya, and he was doing everything. And this one had bring him out for everybody to know who he is. He is paid to come to television to stand and rubbish himself because of money. I don't know why today it is very difficult to see a genuine human being in Igbo land, if not IPOB, if not Namdekar. What are you going to do with money? Why not to choose the best thing, the best thing in life, name? Because name is very important than any amount of money. That is why our leader is where he is. He rejected the money. He chose freedom, not for him, alone for his people. Where are you going with the money, a lawyer, Jimako, and your group? Both to Nene Anya and the group. Both to talent and crack, that is all these criminals doing everything to destroy themselves. They forget that a day will come, they will die. What will remain for the living? That is the reason why people are far better than the black race. The white people are planning ahead of 100 years from one generation. That is why they are going forward. But in a black race, started from Nigeria, what they are interested in mostly is their pockets. What happened to a born generation is not their business. What a shameless people, a shameless idiot, who have sense no reason, cannot reason. Look at somebody like Obasanjo. Obasanjo have been in Nigeria all the way from 1940-something. Obasanjo know Nigeria is going nowhere. Obasanjo still holding Nigeria as a slave he is. He is connecting the white people, making sure he, uh, Nigeria remains a slave under the, under the British government. Obasanjo, you don't know that this is the only opportunity you have to save Yeruba from slaves. Obasanjo. You are working hard to die as a slave, Obasanjo. Obasanjo, you are a slave. And you will remain slave till you die. Since you refuse to listen, since you refuse to reason, that all this money you are packing all the way from the day Motala Mohammed was killed, you become uh, 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 head of state of Nigeria, 1975. Since that day, Obasi just start to steal money till today. Obasi is not tired of stealing and looting. Obasanjo is the problem of Africa. Obasanjo is the agent of Satan in Nigeria. And it will not go well with Obasanjo. Now, I heard that Obanez will make a statement. If they can listen, if Obanez can reason to know that if they say they are leaders, they must stand as a leader. A leader will lead his life for his people. That is the meaning of a leader. It is not a, a leader that will go and collect money and sold his people into a slave in the name of Nigeria. If they can wake up now, that is okay. We are waiting to hear from them. If they can stand and defend IPOB and defend to destroy Nigeria, because Nigeria is not for human beings to live. Nigeria is created by Satan. Mazi, Nigeria is created by this. Satan thank because there's no truth. There is, there's no truth. Then how are you going to move forward? Because the Bible said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. That is what Biafra is all about. That is what our leader is preaching. But Nigeria believes in lying, stealing and looting, creating criminal, killing people, figuring it, saying that it's IPOB, who are fighting to be free from bondage. They find themselves in the name of Nigeria. Thank you very much, Mazi Obilo. They will. They will. will be your strength. And, you too. and all those who have stand to defend this freedom.
from the truth, which our leader is all about. We pay all of you who knows what freedom is all about, who stand for the truth, who will die for the truth. Thank you very much, Ohebia. Thank you very much for coming in. All right, let me go to Mazi Desmond. Mazi Desmond, thank you very much for holding. Can you hear me? And good morning to you. I don't know if I'm coming out very well, Mazi. Wonderfully well. The whole world is listening to you. Go ahead. Come my blessing watching Eke. You are welcome back and we thank Elohim. Um Marzi, I want to first of all say good morning to the Afrans all over the world, IPOB family, and our great leader is Excellency Mazi Namdu Kuchukukano. I greet you and I salute you from here. Mazi Nobil, I will not take much time. I just want to make a point, you know, that like what you said, you you've you've enlightened our people in order for our people to be very, very um, observant and what is going on around our land because the times we are in now is a very dangerous time and it's also a critical time the enemies they have intensified all their effort to bring us down but then what i believe is that there is always light at the end of the tunnel it is certain at the end of this tunnel there is always light and one thing good about this recent um attack is that at the end of it, it's going to spring out that which we have been looking for. Unconditional release of our leader and a, a referendum. No matter whichever, whichever way the enemies come, we must always um, be victorious at the end of the day. That is certain because our cause is a noble and it is a, ju it's a just cause also. Now, uh, Mazuchena, let me say this. Um, you see from the update of our lawyer, Barrister Geoffrey, but it's the It is very obvious that um, our leader has made it very clear to the whole world. We are not missing words. Everybody knows it. That IPOB, there is no time IPOB ever, ever enforced any sitatum. And IPOB never, ever come out to say sitatum for the sake of it. They will give you the reason. IPOB will always outline the reason and what it intends to achieve for that sitatum. So this thing is Nigeria DSS, as you read from our press release, and Nigeria government that, that are sponsoring these people. They are just using that guy in Finland, the criminal in Finland, because he's a criminal. So they say, go and sit down and make the announcement. They will bring the guns, bring everything, give it to the criminals to do the job. And that's what has happened in our land. But thank you, Kwabiyama, that the world is not seeing it for what it is. Because IPOB, our leader, has been exonerated, and we are we remain the way we remain. That is very peaceful. And we'll continue to do what we are doing, agitating for Biafra. And we'll continue to demand unconditional release of our leader as discharged and acquitted by their own appeal court and then a referendum for Biafra people. That's what we are asking for. You see, to the interview granted to Alej, I'm going to say this about that. I don't have to. You see, these people are IPOB. It's a movement. It's not an internet something that you have followers or you have people liking your what you are doing or anything. IPOB is a race. It's the indigenous people of Biafra. That is what we are. And then we are a family of a people. We are a family of a race that are working to liberate the people of Biafra. Now, let me say this. IPOB, we don't have what is called followership. What we have is a supreme leader, Mazin Namdekan, who is our savior. We are his people. You understand now? We are a race, so we are his people. We are not his followers. We don't follow Namdekan. Namdekan is our savior. And we are his people. He is our leader. It's two different things because we are not doing to like and we stay on Facebook and we talk. Our leader is in the DSS detention. It's because he wants to liberate us and our generation. That's why he's there. And that's why we call him Savior. Because people don't, when you say Savior, some people will say, ah, you are calling him God. No. Even when you are thirsty for water, you don't see any water around you. Somebody gives you water. That person at that particular time is your Savior. So in this our time, this is our generation, our leader, Mazinam Namdekanu, is our Savior. And it's very, very obvious. 
So, I know that Jim Akko and Arai TV, what's the other thing they are doing there? Anyway, they are all the same people now, the same people, best of the same fact that they flock to that. Are you with me? So, that is just it. This Arai Jim Akko don't know that when you talk down on IPOB leadership, they are talking down on Nandekanu, who you claim is your, is your client. I don't know, is a your client. I don't know anyway. So, who you claim you are going to see, who you claim you went to see, and they give you order. You know, so you are talk when you talk down on the leadership, you're not talking down on only the the people you are seeing, maybe Chike Dozium or the rest of them. No, you are talking down on the whole Biafra race. You are even talking down on your own self. That is the stupidity. For you to say the truth, that IPO Bimazinam Dekani is the leader, and Chike Dozium is the head of directorate, who are the structure, who are the controlling body of this movement. You cannot say it. Yeah, yeah, you could get there, you could get there. You talk this, you people are just mumushing yourself and fooling yourself. Well, that is left for them anyway. I don't that interview is foolishness. So he has displayed it and uh, we continue. We must continue because he's a lawyer. IPOB is a movement, it don't have anything to do with us. He don't even know what is going on in IPOB. Are you with me? He don't know what is happening inside IPOB. Only the leadership can tell you what is happening. So any information you give out without going through the leadership, then it's a waste of time. Anybody who wants to know anything about IPOB must go through the IPOB leadership, DOS, that is not headed by Chike Dosiem, or a leader. That is all. There is nobody else. So if you say you are Simon Epa, you are flaming each other, congratulations. You people are the criminals in our land. That's what it means. Because you say you're going to represent him in Enugu. I don't know what he's doing. But what I'm telling the Francis is that all these people, um, they are not there to liberate us. They are there to fight for their own selfish reason, thereby putting more danger onto our people and destroying our land, which we are not going to allow because we are here to liberate our people. People are fighting, people are suffering, people are dying, people are putting their blood. Some people are after to make money. It's very, very sad indeed. It's very, very sad. But we must continue. So I encourage their friends to remain resolute. Support ESN, please and please. Support through IPOB unit, IPOB zones, anywhere you are, make sure you verify the right unit and zones. Do not give your money to infiltrators and criminals because our land will be defended. You can hear what you said, Master Chenobu, about the sister that was beaten in Enugu State. And what is the name of that road again? They, she, they, and they kidnapped some of the people. And then they beat her and they left her to die. You know, so our land is under siege. Full and terrorists in our bush, full and terrorists in army uniform in our towns and city, killing our people. The governor, governor terrorists, full and governor terrorists in our land, terrorizing our people. All terrorists in our land. It is our responsibility to drive them. So support ESM financially. That at the end of the day, Chukabema will share our hearts and give us victory, and our leader will be released and will go into our nation Biafra and live like human beings. Thank you very much, Mazu Chenobilo. Mm -hmm. I know him bless you for here. Yes. For this, your time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mazu. Well, well, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you very, very much. All right. Our lines are still open to those of you that wants to call in this morning. As soon as you do so, I will be glad to bring you to be from people. But for now, let me go for a short break. I will be back. Now, is the prince Give me freedom, give me Biafra Give me freedom, give me Biafra Alright, I have call on the line, call on the line, can you hear me? Caller on the line, are you there? Yes, Mazu Chana, can you hear me, sir? Welcome to the program. Please, the whole world is listening. Go ahead. Mazu Chana, Mazu Go said that Dada Namdekanu is our savior. Not, we are not his followers. We are his people. That is true. And let every leader, let every leader in Biafra land understand this. That Dada Namdekanu is our savior. The savior of IPO. IPOP, the main name is indigenous people of the whole Biafra. But we are selected, the value died by the creator himself. Which stage is going out now in the table of death and chickadism? And my, my, yes, we came as the chickadism 
Yes, so we can remember that way, so we can condemn PDP that he suffered malaria, that he can never associate himself with that. That APC have, have complete viral cancer that is up to 40 stage, the worst of it. They have nothing to do with APC. What a hypocrite. He's a minister of Telugu today. Useless leaders that want to kill our Messiah dead. They are fresh of the bed. All right, all right, Mazi. Your line is problematic, and that is exactly what it is. The call coming from the zoo. All right, let me go to the Skype and see who I have. Call on the Skype. Can you hear me? Thank you very much for holding. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Mazi, can you hear me, sir? You are coming out wonderfully well. Please go ahead. The whole world is listening to you. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, my dear brother. And uh, welcome back again. Welcome back. Mazi, we miss you a lot. But uh, thank God that you are back again. Yeah, well. hey, Mazi, um, you're listening to your program and we love you so much. God bless you, sir. Thank you for your time and dedication. Thank you for everything you have been doing for BR France. Mazi, we can't thank you enough. We are waiting until BFR restore and we meet and we see. Mas, what I want to say here is about that uh, about that letter you just read about uh, Aloy Ejimako. Let me make something here, differentiate two things here. People are using Aloy Ejimako and Ifa Ejiofo as the same name. It's not the same, please. Be our friends. Ifa Ejiofo is different person. Aloy Ejimako is a different person. So because I saw many people online, you know, talking about Ifa Ejiofo, using it as Aloy Ejimako. They are not the same person. They are different people. Now, let me go to issue that makes me to call. Mazi, about that data that you read, if I, uh, Allah Ejimako said that um, the people that are following Simon Ekba, they are the same people that are following Nam the Kano, that they are IPOB. I, I was mad, Maz. When I heard this, I was mad. Let me ask this, uh, Allah Ejimako. Uh, Simon Ekba is autopilot. Nam the Kanu is IPOB. And those that be following the IPOB, they are different body. Those that are following Simon Ekba, they are autopilot. They are two different things entirely here. I don't know why this man is missing things together. But don't forget that this man formally is normally go to Simon Ekba program. It's normally there. You know, I I you know, I don't know, talking with them and in associating with them. Now that things have fallen out, now that uh, the, the chicken have come house to roast. Now he have opened up now to say what is going on. Before, he normally go to some unequal program. He normally be there always. Mas, don't forget that it's the same this lawyer, Jimako. It's the same man that brought the news that Nam the Kanu said, give if, uh, some unequal a slot to Radio Biafra. Don't forget, it's the same man. Mas, don't forget that it's the same man again brought the news again that Nam the Kanu said. Uh, what did he say there? That uh, I forgot. When I remember, I will tell you what he said. So this man is putting news from there, news that be, be that news that you, if you hear it, you will say, "Is Nam the Kanu is saying this?" You see, this man is not is not rightful. Always he used that he's a special counsel. I don't know what special counsel mean. I know if you are counseling, you are different. You are different body from a, a, be a legal team of Nam the Kanu. It's a special counsel. That's what's always claim. Let me tell this man what he says. That news that he brought for saying Nam the Kanu wrote that letter. They didn't have, they can't have time to wrote those kind of letter and they put in Simon Ekpa as not the follower, sir. He said disciples. I never hear Nam the Kanu before use disciples. That's why that's why I said that letter is fake. Nam the Kanu never one day used disciples in his comment. He never, never one day used disciples. The place I've been hearing about this disciples is a Simon Ekpa. IPOB also never used disciples before. The member of IPOB, we never use disciples. We use followers on Nam the Kano. You see, whenever you hear disciples, know that this man is working with someone else. Believe me, there's no two ways about this. This man is working with this. Uh, but I think they have misunderstanding. That's why this man come out now to open up. Now, this man forget that IPOB have canceled it at home. That when we say it at home, it's IPOB have canceled it. But he said that Nam the Kano and Samanepa knows about this sit at home, which we have cancelled. So what I'm saying now is, says Mazi, this man did not make good, and he's not implicating our leader, believing that what Samanepa is doing, that Nam the Kano know about it, because he says 
that uh, if the, the people that follow in Simon Epa as a disciples, they also the same people that follow in Nam, they can know. The people that follow in Simon Epa is a few people that we serve from IPOB. If they sack them from IPOB, they will go to Simon Epa. That's all. Nobody in IPOB that be a member of Simon Epa. That is not true. It never happened. So everything this man is saying is lie. This man is lying. This man never said the truth. He's lying. No IPOB. It cannot be in Simon Epa. It be in IPOB. It never happened. IPOB is IPOB. Autopilot is autopilot. The people that are following him is following Simon Epa. IPOB people is a different people entirely. So I want to correct this Ejimako or what, what is the Aloy Ejimako so that he will know what I put his, uh, something straight. He cannot be coming here, putting this two, two things together. We are IPOB. We are not autopilot. Autopilot is different. IPOB is different. Mazi, thanks for having me and God bless you. They thank will, you. They will. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. And I will continue to say it to the hearing of Mr. Aloy Ejimako. This is not how to represent to your client. This is not how to represent your client. You know only fully well that these people causing this mayhem, they are different people. You know fully well that even Ohanese, that you, you are aware of, came out and said, people that is enforcing this seat at home, they are being sponsored by Nigerian government, that you know. You know fully well that this guy that is causing this mayhem, he is not a member of IPOB. That also you know. How else will I say it so that you understand what I'm saying? You see that what you're doing is not right. And I will continue to say it. All of the good things that you've done, I have praised you. But when you do the wrong one, we will be out here also to tell you that what you're, do, what you're doing or what you've done is not a good it's not a good one and that is exactly what we'll continue to do because that is exactly how our leader taught us how to do it when you do the right one we'll praise you when you do the wrong one we'll tell it to your face because that is the truth and the truth that we all know is exactly what is going to set us free caller on the line can you hear me can you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear me. Right. Yes, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Go ahead. The afternoon we will walk that tomorrow. To go to Abia Meti Achi Mede Tilozi Enap. Because we cannot joke with our life and joke with the life of our leader. Joking with the life of our leader is joking with the life of Biafra all over the world. At the same time, we cannot afford to joke with our land. The only place we have that will be buried when we die. Therefore, be afraid say anywhere you are, tie their bed down. Don't try to get better with Look, any idiot to say I get that life power and you want to perish. The world is about to see what I have not seen before. That we are the children of the most high. First case chapter 18, there, there. From verse 1 to 10, there, 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 there. First case chapter 19. First case chapter 20, from verse 1 to end. There will be no end. Elijah said it until I say so. And the dead and the can must be released. Until you people release our leader, all of you in Nigeria will perish. My father, my bishop, my pastor. Let's send to the letters of the state immediately, my father, and back all of you. And that they will. So we are people, you're about people to be saved now. Let's send to the letters of the state. We are coming here to set everybody free. The other chicken does him. Elijah and the prophet of Baal is a challenge. Elijah on my sinner. The call of Elijah and the war with Syria. King Arab answered, Tell the king about that every soldier does his boasting after a battle, not to before it. Meanwhile, a prophet went to the king Arab and he said to him, Say, dear friends, Okay, 
Un jour, on va un certificat de shameless serious. Ça t'a tapé pour essayer de me faire vidéo. Shameless serious. Where did 24 hours from this minute? MPAP, this owner of the world. That did it in the time of Elijah. Said the release is on. Exactly. That name was Anya. And that's why I'm our. Have you been a witness? Every property of that there will be. Where people say with him, 34, to check out before you perish on our. What did it take? Now. Now, you have to quit. You can't be a man. You will be a happy target. Eh? Mais t'as eu, à te faire de moi, on y a eu plein de gars. Même quoi, quoi, même des gens me gênent. Quand ils tiennent l'Amérique, tiennent Britain, tiennent tout haut, tout haut. Ma japonais, il est, ma fulani, tu as tombé la même ministre de justice. Il était où il a bien que c'est pas ça. Il était où il a bien que c'est un week-end. C'est un week-end que tu connais un peu ce cancer. Today, c'est ministre, tu commences. Control la wa iriba la in area. And that's how they talk about. Let's tell me tell you. That's how they talk about. Forget about that. You don't support it. I'm going to pipe lie on your business. Oh, yes. You know, I'm going to pipe lie security. Shame to you. You see, let's see, John. I get KRI. I tell you, talk about. I get KRI. I'm going to tell you. That's how they talk about. 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 Guy, why? That's not the kind of little type of yellow. I want to scratch it. Imagine trying to have a bit of a Unless you have to abuse them, but you know what? Oh, my, 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 oh, our lines are still open. I am willing to take a few more calls of you beer friends as soon as you call in. Like always, I am going to bring you to beer friends. As soon as you call in, I will bring you to beer friends. <laughs> Yeah, we 
Welcome. That is exactly what it is. Free Mazin Nam Dikano. That is exactly what we are saying. That is exactly what Bia France all around the world is saying. Let Mazin Nam Dikano go. Do exactly how your courts, your competent court of jurisdictions have already ordered. Our leader should be a free man by now. But Nigerian government is doing otherwise to tell you and I that Nigerian government is a government of terrorists now i'm saying if nigerian government say that they are not a terrorist government let them do exactly what their court has got ordered them to do because our leader has nothing to answer for because the courts have exonerated our leader and they are doing otherwise i tell you dear friends this freedom that we are pursuing we are going to get it. This freedom that we are pursuing, we are going to get it. Remember what our leader have said. Our leader said that he is going to their court and he is going to beat them hands down. What are they using? What are they doing today? All that they are doing is just, you know, intimidation tactics. That is all they've got. They, ha they don't have anything. They don't have anything to present. Sometimes they are running from their own court case. And all of the courts that our leader has been going against Nigerian government, all he continued to win and beat them hands down. That should tell you something, dear friends. The freedom that we are asking for is not going to be easy. This also our leader said. It is not going to be easy. As a matter of fact, he said, we choose to go it in a hard way. All of these are the words of our leader. We, be a friend, we are supposed to remember all of these things because he said all of these things. We are supposed to remem remember all of his word in order to energize us the more. When we face one difficulties for us, it is too much. But our leader is the arrowhead. He is the one facing all the heat. What we are facing is just emotional. I don't have a word for it. Or should I say emotional pressure? That is what we are facing. But yet we can handle it. The man that is in the fire itself. He remains unshakable. The man that is in the hands of the Nigerian government. 
he remains unshakable. He is in their hands. He can say what he wants to say. When he wants to say it. He is unshakable. But you outside. That is. Feeling this emotional pressure. I don't. I, I don't. I, I'm just using emotional pressure. I don't know if that is the right word. You can't even handle it. You cannot even handle that emotional thing that you are going through. I want to tell you that the reason why they want to destroy IPOB by all, all costs is because this type of movement, they have not seen it. They have not seen it anywhere. They have not seen it anywhere. And for them, it is unbelievable what Almighty Chukuki Kabiyama is using you and I to do. They know that it is something you know it is something that they cannot do nothing about it but they want to do something with your own help listen to what i said what ipub is doing is something that they cannot do nothing about they can't do anything about it but they want to do something about it with your help because of what you're feeling, you allow yourself to be used for Nigerian government to use you to destroy the same freedom of your own self, your own family, my own self, entire beer from people to put it to an halt. Don't allow yourself to be that person. Put away whatever you whatever that you have in your mind whatever the, it may be hatred i don't know put all of those things aside because if you continue with what you're doing you think you want to score point you think you want to undo this person and undo that person to make yourself what you want to be. I'm telling you this. Nigerian government is a beast. Nigerian government is coming for the indigenous people of Biafra. You must understand that you are one of them. If Nigerian government is coming for me. When they come, off, when they come for me and they are successful in getting me. They will also come for you. This is exactly how it is. Because. You know, it doesn't matter how you see, the snake will always continue to look for something to swallow. When they come for me, definitely they are coming for you. The time may be different, but they are coming. Remember our leader also say, they are coming. But for me, I will say to us, it depends on when they are coming. It depends on how they will come. It depends on who they will use to come in. At this point, I will say, with all that I have said today, gather all of them, put it in your basket, on your shifter, whatever the case may be. Shift it as you will want. Take whatever you want that will work for you. And whatever that will not work for you, just throw it away. But I tell you, what I know that I have said today is exactly what I know that it is the truth. And only the truth that we all know will set us free. And I will say, to be our friends, friends of their friends, lovers of freedom. Please continue to pray for our leader. 
Yes, it is true that every Shabbat we always pray for our leader. But I want to say, from Shabbat to today, I want to extend it to us that we should continue to pray for our leader. It doesn't matter how you do it. You may do it in a traditional way. You may do it in a casual way. You may do it in your Christianity way, religious way. I don't know how you want to do it. But for me, what I know, I will say. Just say a prayer for our leader. While you are walking on the road, you can commit our leader into the hands of Almighty. Ask God to protect him. In your marketplace, you can do just that. While you're in your vehicle going to where you're going, you can do just that. You don't need so much. You don't need anybody to do it for you, but you can do that. The same way you have thought in your mind, I don't know whatever they taught you, I don't know whatever thought it is. That same thought, the same way you have that thought, that same way use it to communicate to God Almighty. Because he, the most Chuko Kikabiyama, he knows everything that you have in your thoughts. That thing that you're thinking, he knows. That same way, communicate to him, the most High Chuko Kikabiyama, that he will continue to protect our leader, that he almighty will break the gate of that prison that our leader will come out. Same way you commit Biafra land as well. That the most such Kuki Kabiyama will do that for his children. That they will have the cause to glorify his holy name. I don't know what to say, what else to say at this point. But all that I know that I need to say to you, dear friends, I have said all. But one thing that I want to say before. I hang it up this minute is do not allow yourself to be used. Remember, you took an oath to protect, to uphold, to be loyal to the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Those that do not took an oath or those that do not take an oath Using you to distract others. Those that do not take an oath to, to uphold, to guide. They are using you to destroy what we are doing. And you allow yourself. Ask yourself a question. Nihi na owu dat na. Onye chojo wombala. Nti ya apafara. I don't know. A better word to say it in English, but I'm going to leave it there. To those that understand, will understand. But I will say again, do not allow yourself to be used. Again, and I say, do not allow yourself to be distracted with those that are doing shows. Those that are doing shows do not allow yourself to be used to distract other people. A word is enough for a while. And I will go for a short break. As soon as I come back, I will draw the curtain for this wonderful program this morning because he, the most I chuku kikabiyama, he has been so kind to us. I will go for a short break and I will be back. Please don't go away.
Welcome back, welcome back. I want to say a very huge thank you to each and every one of you, dear friends, friends of dear friends, lovers of freedom, wherever you may be, wherever you are hearing, wherever you are listening from this very morning. I want to say a very huge thank you to each and every one of us. I want to let you know that without you, this program will not be what it is. I want to thank you each and every one of you to those of you that are listening to those of you that are contributing one way or the other to those of you that come in from the beginning from the first person to the last i want to thank each and every every one of you without you this program will not be what it is from the bottom of my heart to each and every one of you, it is a very huge thank you. Before I go, I want to say those things that our leader has said before that I love to say, which is to those of you that are choosing to listen to this platform called Radio Biafra, to those of you that are choosing to listen to the truth that is coming out of, it, out of this platform, 